Every gun shell left behind at a crime scene tells a story, and technology can help investigators uncover the plot. The ATF runs a nationwide computer database that helps local police solve crimes. Last month, WCCO's Jennifer Merrily showed us how science can reveal a gun's fingerprint. Take a look at the yellow numbers on the ground. Each represents evidence, a shell casing from a bullet fired. The casings at crime scenes contain a gun signature. Each firearm makes distinct markings on the shell casing. They are collected and submitted to be entered into the NIBIN system. It stands for National Integrated Ballistic Information Network, designed by the ATF to provide automated ballistic imaging for law enforcement partners. And a 3D image is created and given a computerized uh, numerical identifier within the system. Will McCreary is a special agent in charge of the St. Paul Field Division. It will also be a placeholder for shell casings where a firearm has not yet been recovered. There are three NIBIN systems in Minnesota at the BCA, Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, and this one housed at the Minneapolis Police Department. It's a repository for uh, ca the images, casing images. Tim Sitlow is a forensic firearms technician. His day is spent putting evidence into what's called a brass tracks machine. What we're looking at is the primer area of a cartridge case. He takes images of the grooves, picking up the unique markings only made by one gun. This is the ejector mark. The process can reveal connections between crime scenes. Just had one the other day that was uh, 14 or 15 leads. So wow. 14 or 15 different crime scenes uh, that a gun was linking to. If police recover a gun, Tex will shoot into a water tank to get a bullet and shell casing to upload into the system. So all it's given us is the lands and grooves of the barrel, inside of the barrel. Dimples in the firing pin. When there's a match, clues or leads are pushed out within 24 to 48 hours. Confirmed hits take longer. Would fewer crimes be solved if not for Niven? Absolutely. That's a big statement. Yeah. From September of 2020 through August, NIBIN created 1,436 leads in Minnesota. More than 900 of them were given to investigative partners, including a case where prosecutors charged three people in a straw purchasing scheme, accused of illegally buying 47 guns in a month for someone else. It seems like this is pretty um, critical technology to be using um, for gun crime. It's a way for information that we wouldn't get really any other way. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Nationwide, there are about 4.5 million pieces of ballistic evidence stored in NIBIN.